But first, we're going to begin with 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham, who's been talking with fans all day and joins us with a look at their excitement. Darren. Yes, good afternoon. You might be able to hear the roar. You might be able to hear some music. Fans are all over the place, and we are in the center of all of the action. Down here earlier, drivers were signing autographs. Over here, you've got some signage showing events taking place all weekend. I'll get to some of that in a minute. Over there to my right, that's Jefferson Avenue. Back over to my left is Atwater. So we've got both sides of the track. As I mentioned, we're in the center of all of the action, and fans are here to take it all in. I love seeing the friends and the families down here, everybody coming together, enjoying the races. Race car fans like Billy Zanadine gathered along Jefferson Avenue around the Grand Prix track to watch IndyCar drivers take practice laps this morning and afternoon. A 1.7 mile loop drawing people of all ages, including a number of families. With the Grand Prix downtown for the first time in 32 years, Rashad Elamin Sr. says this event has brought things full circle since he used to come to the Grand Prix in the late 80s and early 90s with his father before it moved to Belle Isle. Now he's happy to share this experience with his son, Rashad Jr. It's real hot, but it's kind of, but it's real fun. Just bringing the experience back as a parent with my son to see him, like you say, his first time seeing a race car, so that's exciting. And just enjoying the whole new atmosphere of the city. And how everything's coming together, and it's put together well here. Our plaza stretched all the way down, so I'm liking it. I'm loving it down here. Scott Luplo tells me he came mainly for the beverages, but the family time and bonding experience with his son Bennett is top of the list. It's been, it's been really good so far, and especially uh, Friday here, it's a little light. I'm sure it'll get really busy over the weekend. It's also a new and different experience for those who work downtown every single day, seeing Jefferson and surrounding roads transformed over the past few weeks and the next several days. It's been exciting. I like fast cars. And regardless of what happens on the track this weekend, it's a win-win situation for the vendors. I'm a person that's been here in Detroit all my life. These are one of the best events that this city has. The people here are great and the food is even greater. All right. So you've got a number of events taking place. You got, obviously the cars are racing. You just heard Kevin mention the food there, but there's a lot happening, including uh, this evening. There's some concerts that'll be taking place tonight and tomorrow. Tonight you have A-Track, a Canadian DJ. I actually met some folks from uh, Canada here. There's folks from all over the place. Obviously you have Detroiters, but you have folks who have traveled far and wide to be here. So you have A-Track, uh, will be taking the Art Heart Plaza stage at 6 p.m. Then you have Big Boy from Outcast, who will be taking the stage at 7.30. So there's lots to do. Live in downtown Detroit, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. Okay, Darren, you're making us both envious <laughs> and hungry. Thank you very much. It is on. <laughs> all right.